Before checking any electrical connections or components in your lane machine, it's good to have a versatile multimeter. Now this is a fluke digital meter, which might be more than you need, but the important thing is, is that you're capable of checking AC voltage and DC voltage. Now most of the components in the machine are going to run off of AC, but your drive motor does run off a of DC voltage. And we also want to have the option to be able to check continuity, which is what we would use to check individual fuses. This is going to be a simulation of a vacuum motor that is not operating. Now the vacuum motor runs through a series of electrical checkpoints that you would use in troubleshooting. The first checkpoint is going to be main power. Now, when checking this output, it's a little bit tricky because we have to actually hold down the enter key on the keypad to make sure that the output stays on. So we're actually going to take our black lead and just kind of lightly push it into our common wire. Make sure that you don't push it in too far because prolonged use this way could damage the pin inside but that should hold us pretty good for checking that part of the wire. The next thing we would do is actually menu to the test output menu and then locate what number the vacuum motor output would be on and that is number 14. So we will hit our F2 key and increment that number up to 14. Now the first thing that happens is power has to come into the machine, as we have here. And we can see on our meter that we have sufficient power coming in. From that point, it's going to travel to the processor. Now we're going to find out exactly what output number on this processor is going to control the relay for the vacuum. Once again, we're going to have to hold that inner key to keep that engaged. And we have an output light of number seven. If we flip open this lid, we can see that this is going to be output number seven. Now at this point, we're getting a light and the actual relay is turning on and off but the first checkpoint we would go to would be neutral and the actual lead for that wire. So we know that we have 120 volts coming from the processor. And in this case, it's going to the relay and it is engaging the relay. If it was not, we would check the back side of that to make sure that power was coming through. So the circuit is complete to here, but still we do not have a vacuum motor. Now from this point, it travels through the relay and then to your fuse panel. So if we actually take out our fuse, we do not have a fuse here. So the circuit has been broken. To simulate this, we're going to show you how to properly check a vacuum motor fuse. You'll notice that this is not a fuse you can see through. Much like your drive motor. Your drive motor is a ceramic fuse, therefore it needs to be checked on a meter. Always make sure that when checking a fuse, you're not on any type of metal surface. You're better off on a wooden workbench or actually holding it in between your hands. From this point, we're going to have to change our meter from voltage AC to continuity. We'll put one lead on one end of the fuse and the other lead on the other end. And that's showing us that that fuse is good. So theoretically, if we were to replace that fuse, the circuit should be complete. And when we plug our lane machine back in and go to that output, 
we should be able to turn that motor on. The only other place that that circuit could be broken would be actually at the plug itself. So when checking electrical components, follow the series of events.